Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. I'm on my way to the cabin in West Virginia today, but we're going to make a stop in Maryland and hopefully learn something about timber frame construction. So we're at uh, Tri-State Gazebo, that's where we got uh, our cabin, and they're putting up a post-frame pavilion here. And they started about an hour ago, I was just looking how they did this. They bolt these uh, post brackets right into the concrete, and these are 8x8 eight eight southern yellow pine. I just asked them. When they get these in, they let them dry for a while, a long while actually, before they uh, stain them. But yeah, this is going to be a really nice pavilion here. Really nice.
about noon. Uh, the guys are taking lunch right now, uh, but I've been watching them work on and off all morning here. But they got all this done since about 7.30 a.m. But I've learned a lot so far in watching what they do and, and talking to them. Uh, so number one, all the posts, eight by eight posts, they're southern yellow pine and they are pressure treated. Now they had to wait a long time before they could stain those. You know how it is with pressure treated lumber. But those are southern yellow pine. Everything else you see is air dried white pine. So, you know, I'm not an expert on this, but the air dried, it's stable at this point, which is why they can use, you know, regular hardware, like big long screws to hold everything together. Uh, if you put that up green, it would shrink quite a bit, a lot more cracking and checking. So with the air dried wood, you know, they can wait however long it takes, a year, year and a half, and if you have pieces that went south on you, you don't use them. This is really nice, and boy, they got a ton of work done in like five hours so far. The roof is uh, 912 pitch. I like how it looks, it's really stout, you know? Everything's big. And this pad, by the way, it sloped three inches from this side to that side for water to drain. So they had to, uh, you know, those posts on that side are just a little bit longer. But they bring all the posts, cut everything to length here, make all the notches, everything on site. Uh, I did notice the rafters were pre-cut. But yeah, nice fit, nice finish, really nice. This will have a uh, black metal roof on it when it's done. And then they're gonna put tongue and groove white pine in the ceiling. All right, so this is Joe, and you've been super excited about being on camera, haven't you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? You wanna tell them a little bit about your company? So we took this company over two years ago, and the previous owner's been doing this for 10 plus years. Okay. And we took it over two years ago. It's a family-run company, and uh, before that, I did work and was trained by the previous owner. Right. And uh, he got me trained in on everything that I know. Yeah, you guys are really rolling right along here because it's, what, one o'clock or something. Just got done with lunch. They got all this up. Uh, and you hauled everything in today. Yes, sir. And then you'll probably have all the, the roof, not the roof on, but you'll have all the tongue and groove up today? That is the plan, yes, sir. That's the plan, and then it's gonna have a black metal roof on it? Black textured metal. What's the size of this one? This is a 16 by 32 um, with a reverse, 16 foot reverse gable that extends four feet out. Okay, I was telling Danny, uh, and by the way, the way this works, we're at Tri-State Gazebo, and as you know, Danny sells all different types of structures, and you guys have just hooked up with Danny. Correct. This is a perfect fit for down here around the lake. Yes, I think sir. he's gonna do really well with, with these. Absolutely. I could tell those uh, rafters and everything's dry. I talked to the, them earlier about you know, air drying it. I've lifted enough white pine before. I know you guys are stronger, but <laughs> for you to be able to carry them, definitely that stuff's been air dried for quite a while. That is correct, yes. Yeah, but it's it's beautiful. It's proportionally, it just, it probably took a long time to get. Yes, every... there was a lot of trial and error. Definitely yeah. a lot of trial and error, but we uh, like to think that we know what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all do. Even the posts, like, it wouldn't look right if they were six by six. Correct. You know what I mean? Eight by eight's just perfect. Correct. Yeah, everything looks really good. Can't wait to see when it's all done. What I'll probably do, I'm gonna roll out of here once you start putting the tongue and groove up, and then I'll stop back tomorrow morning, see sure. where you're at, and then I'll stop back when it's all done. Okay. How long does it normally take you to do the entire thing? I would say on this size structure here, two days start to finish. Two days start to now finish. Now this one does get an electrical package, so you know that'll tie us up for a little longer, but yeah um, definitely something that can be done as well you got a good crew too man them guys have been hustling all day and looks nice you got it well thanks joe appreciate it no problem all right so they got all the uh 
overhangs on now. Is this cut the metal? I'm back up at the cabin. I was down at uh, Tri-State Gazebo again this morning. That is day two of construction of the pavilion. But man, does that thing look nice. Uh, I was talking to Danny Miller and I said, you know, just the proportions of everything is just perfect. Like the 8 by 8 posts, the 912 pitch on the roof, uh, the colors, the textured metal roof. Everything looks fantastic. I think he's going to sell a lot of those. And by the way, uh, the reason I do videos like this is, number one, I find it very interesting. And I learned a lot just watching those guys work and talking to them. Uh, like that little Makita tool for cutting metal. I didn't know that existed. I need to get one of those. Those are awesome. About air-dried versus kiln-dried. Uh, the post brackets that they use just every little thing and the purpose like I said of videos like this is to learn things for me and hopefully you as well you know some people may live in this area and want one I don't know exactly what the price is uh, I have a ballpark idea but basically the price of a decent used car you could have one of those pavilions and then for a guy with a sawmill and maybe some white pine and red pine you know gives you ideas as well so that's kind of the point of these videos and I like Danny we've become uh, pretty good friends 
since we got the cabin from him. Uh, just good people. And it's weird. Being down here, there are more people that I run into down here in West Virginia and over by Deep Creek, Maryland, that watch our channel than around home. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I run into people all the time down here. Uh, yesterday, I met a guy named Mike. He stopped at Tri-State. He saw my truck and trailer there. Uh, he had a real nice super duty. And then Dino's another guy that I met uh, at Tractor Supply. He's got a super duty as well. And I met another guy, yeah, another guy down at Tri-State Gazebo and his wife later on in the day. But yeah, I run into people all the time down here. But that is the point of uh, videos like this. I like sharing information. I like supporting small business. Uh, I've mentioned before, all you hear about is all the nonsense in the world. But every day, there's people like us, like me, like you, like all the people I associate with that are just out there doing their thing and uh, working hard. And those are the people that don't get any recognition. None of them are asking for recognition, but all you hear about is all the knuckleheads in the world. And there's tons of good people out there. And I like sharing them and what they do on our channel when I can. So that's the point of all this. I just hooked up to uh, the trailer. I left it sit up here. I'm going to do a little bit of more work with the tractor, which is in a which is a separate video. I'm kind of all over the place here the last couple of days. And then I'll head back down to Tri-State Gazebo. They should be about wrapped up with a metal roof. They won't be completely done with it, but they should be pretty close. This is going to be kind of a tight squeeze. This one red pine right here, I like it. I probably should have taken it down. I can zip right around here with the dump trailer. I think I can make it with that one. It'll just be a little tight. No problem at all. I got right around there. It was a little bit tight, but it was like it was made for it. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of work with the tractor. Like I said, that's going to be in another video. And then uh, we'll load up, head back down to Tri-State Gazebo, see how they're doing. All right, we are back down to Tri-State Gazebo. The guys just about have this wrapped up. It's beautiful. And while we're here, I'll give you another look at this... Uh, trailer this is what they delivered my cabin on i never really got a good look yeah these are those dollies that lower and you can shift the whole trailer side to side quite the setup <laughs> 